The homepage of the industry publication Automotive News currently says, drum roll please, Stellantis expanding EV portfolio. And we've got a good look in what is that? Dodge Hornet, which is yes, indeed. The, the number 10 slowest selling car in the United States of America <laughs> right now. You know what's going to help make the Dodge Hornet a stronger seller, Dad? Expanding, uh, expanding our uh, EV portfolio. When everyone in the auto industry is going left, Stellantis goes right. Stellantis is doubling down, Dad, sticking to their plan for Chrysler and Alfa Romeo to go all electric in the next few years. This is even as EV sales, again, they picked up an audience. They've gone they, they, down. They were, say, they were saying Chrysler by, what was it, 2028 and Alfa Romeo by 2027. Oh, and then, and then, the tiny uh, Fiat 500e. Well, that's also one of the slowest selling cars in America. Um, it is. It is incredible to me how far out of touch such a large manufacturer, global manufacturer, can be when it comes to what people in the North American market are interested in buying. It is it it is it is unfathomable to me that you can be that out of touch. I mean, you spend hundreds of millions of dollars a year to study the market, to survey customers, to have an idea of what it is that they want to buy. And every time you come out with a new vehicle. And I know this from 43 years in retail automotive that every manufacturer I ever worked for, every time they came out with a new vehicle, they had a really good idea as to who was going to buy it and at what price point, what the age of those people was going to be and what the median income of those people was going to be. And in 99.9% .9 of the cases, they weren't even close to reality as to who they thought was going to buy it. It is like, what, what the hell are they pissing away all this money for? We have the fastest and slowest selling cars in the United States of America right now. This is on caredge.com. Again, just Google search it. It pops up. 60% of the slowest selling cars in the United States right now are Stellantis vehicles. Do you really think that doubling down on it, quote, expanding your EV portfolio is the way to get, I don't know, from 60% of your vehicles being in the slowest selling category to 10%? No. Like, this is asinine, Dad. This is, this is almost as asinine as those survey results for used, uh, used car interest rates. I mean, this is hilarious to me for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, it might it might be your way to get to eighty or ninety percent? Yeah, do they that. want one hundred percent of the slowest selling cars in the United States of America? Because the way to do that is commit to one hundred percent of your vehicles being EV. Nuts, absolutely nuts. Again, the reason this is especially uh, pertinent is Ford just came out a couple of weeks ago and said, you know, we're walking back our EV expectations. We're going for more hybrid vehicles. General Motors did the same exact things to Lit. They go left. Slant this goes right. Volvo did the same thing. Everybody Toyota has done did the same thing. Everybody yeah. has done the same thing. Everybody but Stellantis. Sales are slumping. What do you do? Raise the price, baby. Buick leans into premium design for long-term sales growth. The redesigned 2025 Enclave crossover. Buick has fully overhauled product lineup, has a fully overhauled product lineup, and is seeking to generate brand awareness and customer consideration. Dad, when all else fails, raise the price. Go premium. Uh, well, you know, it's worked for some brands out there. It certainly has worked for Apple. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> well, it has. It has. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it has. Hey, we produce the same cheap crap as everybody else, but it's got an Apple signal on it, symbol on it. So I, we know, we know you're willing to pay more because it says Apple. Okay. And so th this is not a new concept. This concept is as old as man. So, hey, good for Buick. If they think they can get away with it, great. And, and you know, the fact that they want to go more premium with their vehicles that are built in China and Korea, um, you know, where they're building them for less, it means Buick will yeah. be around a lot longer. Yeah. And even regardless of where they're building up that, it's just Buick, yeah. the answer to your sales slump is not increasing your prices, but evidently that is the strategy.
Ford is on their A game. Ford adds karaoke to pastime while charging and road tripping. The touchscreen only displays song lyrics when the vehicle is parked, but lets passengers control the experience via smartphone while on the road. Dad, do you want to carpool karaoke with me one time? Uh, well, I, I think I would call it road trip karaoke, but absolutely not. Okay. Um, you know, it, it's bad enough when I sing to whatever song is playing. Thankfully, I don't listen to a lot of vocals because my voice is absolutely terrible. <laughs> but but the fact that, that you think for your electric vehicles to make going to a charging station and charging the vehicle that you need to entertain those people who are driving that car with karaoke why they wait the 15 20 minutes or 30 minutes to to recharge their car i mean really really folks you can't find anything better to do with your time than to listen to karaoke or participate in karaoke in the car the worst thing that we ever did as a family was when we lived in arizona when we lived in 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 uh, the phoenix area we would go to san diego every summer yes we would for a week okay and at one point in time my children god bless them i love them dearly they really liked um harry potter yeah and 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 St i still do like harry potter for the record I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you and your sister and 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 so we had harry potter books on tape literally I would fall asleep at the wheel. I used to have to ask your mother to draw that. That stuff just put me to sleep. Okay. Cause you know who, and, and, uh, and, and so I just can't imagine if, if a family driving somewhere over long distances and because there's someone in the passenger seat, they can set up the karaoke for the wife and kids to be serenading you the entire way. I, I, I mean, somebody's going to drive off the road. It is, <laughs> it is just that that would be that would be so mind numbing. It, it would. It be, how could you pay attention to anything other than three or four people in that vehicle singing whatever children's What's karaoke the, song they might want partial automation technology encourages distraction iihs finds automated driving systems in a volvo and tesla increased complacency even among experienced drivers shocking yeah yeah indeed i i don't you know i don't know how anybody i what i'd like to know is is how much money they had to spend, okay, to do studies to figure this out when they knew it before they started the study. Because what causes most accidents? Sudden distractions. So if we know distractions typically cause accidents, we're, we're, you know, we dropped our phone. We're trying to reach down to pick it up off the floor. Um, we're, we're flicking ashes in. Well, they don't have ashtrays anymore. Um, we're searching for, they don't have cigarette lighters anymore. Um, but it's all distractions. And, and so if you're, if you're working your eye drive on a BMW or you're multitasking by, by pushing on the uh, display screen in your vehicle, well, Every time you do that, you you are momentarily distracted, and we know distractions cause accidents. So, so why would you have to spend money to do a study to 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 well prove what you already knew? Silly to me, just silly. Yeah, I thought you'd get a kick out of that one, pops. You know, we put more technology in vehicles, and what do you know? causes more issues another one for you dad did you know that you can now charge your gm electric vehicle out of tesla supercharger you just have to pay 225 dollars for an adapter dang wow. yeah well i think that's you know i mean why doesn't why why doesn't gm just give you the damn adapter to encourage you to buy the car yeah that's that's uh, food for thought and then stellantis with another great announcement that's going to boost their sales yeah. Their electric pickup truck is arriving early in 2025. Get excited, folks. That's going to that's gonna be can, it. Can I ask a question? Ask the question. 
who do they think wants that? Okay, I mean, I mean, really. Uh, well, well, what? And, and then I saw somewhere in the article that I think it, I don't I I don't think it was the electric version of it, hmm. but they're going to make a tungsten edition. Yeah, okay. So that starts at ninety plus thousand dollars. Who the hell's asking for that vehicle? So, <laughs> so you, 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 hmm. you, you're going to switch over to your elect, full electric vehicle that nobody really is asking for. Yeah, and then and then you also know well since nobody's really asking for that, well we we should have a gas vehicle for them. Um, it, it just starts at ninety plus grand. These are, see, man. these are Ram pickup trucks. Ram pickup. It's a pickup truck. What the? A. What is wrong with the people at Stellantis who are going? We need this nonsense. And then and then on top, what the hell is wrong with the people who? The customers out there would go, well, no, no, I, I, I can't have a Ram if it's not a tungsten edition for 95 grand. Get that. What is wrong with people?